We look to technological innovation to see how we can bring art to more people. Art Basel returns to Hong Kong, marking the second edition of its hybrid fair since the start of the COVID pandemic. After a two-month delay due to the Omicron outbreak, 130 galleries across 28 countries and territories are presenting to both physical and virtual audiences. This is our second hybrid edition. It's about serving this region. It's about showing off the best that this region has to offer while acting as a bridge. Art Basel is again offering satellite booths, spaces staffed by a person in Hong Kong who represents art galleries who couldn't physically attend. The fair's physical digital hybrid also includes features like online viewing rooms and virtual walkthroughs. Galleries like Lehman Maupin are bringing augmented reality components to the fair, launching artist Tom Friedman's 33-foot-high moving sculpture at different sites across Hong Kong, Seoul, and New York. Recently, the gallery has launched a Collect AR platform, which is on the website, where we're using augmented reality to bring sculptural works to life and also to bridge them across uh, the digital world. And NFT continues to play a key role at Art Basel, with blockchain platform Tezos launching its first NFT exhibition in Hong Kong, featuring works from over 20 digital artists. So anyone coming through this gallery, when they go through this live minting experience, can have a chance to own their first, their unique, generative NFT token on the Tezos blockchain. The NFT art market, especially in Asia, growing from strength to strength. Out of the $22 billion market size so for the NFT space, 35% comes from Central and Southeast Asia. Hong Kong-based Ora Ora Gallery is bringing NFTs back for the second year. One of the objectives for Aura Aura to continue our NFT project development is to tap a younger target market. I want to show it on the iPad because this is exactly how my young collectors use it. This is actually how people in their 20s use NFT art and show around and have fun. If you think about the art wall circa 2019, the idea of buying something on PDF is almost unheard of. And now it's part of the norm. And I feel that online activations are here to stay. I think galleries are also getting on board with the idea of social media, getting on board with the idea of online viewing rooms. And that's a great thing for us as an industry.